Now we're going to be applying for PayPal. And the one of the most important things we're, we're highlighting, uh, make sure you're doing the entire process through the VPS. Even the companies that are 100% American by 100% US people are using VPS. So any email you receive, any verification email or anything like that PayPal is saying, oh, you know, you got, uh, you can apply for their credits or like there's a business card that they want to give it to you. You need to even opening these emails through the VPS. Do not log in from your home country, your home IP. Make sure you're doing it with the, with the VPS. So after uh, filling the first part on the email, make sure that you're putting a business email. And after that, the business contact is going to be the, if it's a single member owner, I'll say owner of the company or the like the pretty much IT owner. Whoever owns the ITIN, if it's like a 50-50 partnership business, the one that who's ITN or, or social, if there is, going to be used. Make sure you put the full name as it's written on the passport. Uh, and the business details, the legal business name, full company name. If it has LLC or uh, uh, INC, make sure you put it like if it's a corporation or LLC. Business phone number, you need to be putting a US phone number. And for the business address, uh, if you have uh, any friends, anyone who stays in the U.S., if you don't have your, your U.S. address, uh, you can use their address. Uh, but one important thing, make sure like every information that we're using here, the phone number, EIN, company name, domain of the website that you're going to be putting, it never ever applied to PayPal before. So if it ever applied and if it has any issues such as like having a rejection or something, uh, most likely our application is going to be rejected. So we move on here in this business type. If it's like a single member, you put, put, you pick the individual sole proprietorship. If it's a corporation, uh, you pick, pick the corporation. In this case, it's a multi-member LLC. So it's a partnership. They sell blankets, pillows, like custom made, those type of items. That's why I, I picked the furniture, home furnishing equipment, the niche that you related on your website the particular things that you're selling you need to be picking on here if your website has varieties of trendy products like try to avoid that as much as you can don't sell towel and gardening things and i don't know like car tools in, in one website you know uh, when it comes to like the monthly sales if you don't have any existing sales yet pick the first one if you have something and if it's Anything close to these numbers, even though if you're not in these numbers, try to pick the higher one. But if you're at zero, don't pick like you're making $50,000. Website, it says optional. You must put the website. If you don't put your website, uh, the chances of your application getting accepted is less. On our website, there are certain things that we're uh, writing down. Make sure on the bottom footer of your website you have your company name your us phone number us address everything is written same in the about us page if you can put any story that has the name of the applicant that we use and the uh, the company name and the like the establishment year and everything there people are checking these websites and they're checking and looking what are these people are doing so every information we put here the more they can find on our website as we wrote down in the notes uh it's better so when it comes to last four digits of the SSN, just like SSN, ITIN is the same. Uh, we put the last four digits of the ITIN. After this, they will be asking for further verification. They're going to be saying, okay, provide us your SSN card or something. Or you, you're going to be able to pick um, between the SSN and ITIN. Just like SSN, ITIN is nine digits. You're going to be putting the last four digits of your ITIN. And most likely PayPal will be re-asking you, okay, provide us your SSN card or provide us your verification, identity verification. And then uh, you will have something like this. Uh, it's a part that where you'll be uploading a further document. And at there, you're gonna be providing your ITN document because just like SSN, you can use your ITN, which is the same nine digits. If you will have any issues and it's going to be saying only SSN and it doesn't give you the option for ITIN. You can always contact with PayPal and say you're a non-resident. Uh, you're applying as a non-US business owner, non-resident non uh, business owner, and you don't have social, but you have ITN instead, which is your tax identification number. Uh, for the home address, put the business address that you have on your website, put a US address as your base there. 
uh, because that's your only option. You can pick your even your own country. Uh, and put your birth date as it's written on your uh, passport. Okay, so pick here whatever you're doing. For example, uh, for this example, again, they're selling blankets, like pillows, those type of stuff. Uh, for example, if you're going to be like whatever the marketplace that you're going to be in, uh, like whether you're going to be, you know, be in any marketplace or send customized invoices or anything. Uh, for this example, they're dropshippers. They sell on Shopify. So you pick down a marketplace and these recommendations you simply can. So in this part where it says your recommendations, you pick the start now. That's where you're going to be putting your bank information and pretty much yeah, we're in a dashboard but our account is not ready yet uh, we will need to be connecting our bank account and do whatever they're asking for us to do first you receive the link uh, to the email that you provide it already start giving updates and stuff so make sure you open this email through the vps uh, you don't do it on your regular home country because they will be able to detect whatever the location that you're viewing the email. Okay, uh, after confirming the email that we opened through our VPS, uh, the, the last step is the bank account that we're going to be picking. And after connecting our bank, pretty much we're going to be ready. Uh, you can even test it. So if you get your bank account opened with Mercury, Brex, Relay Financial, every IO, like any of those banks, most likely you're not going to be finding the name of the bank here. So we're going to, we have, we put search for other banks. Okay. It's not going to find it. We put the bank details. Okay. So for this example, it's a Mercury account, uh, on the bank statement wire details, you can on the bank statement wire details, you can find the, the account number and the routing number. Uh, most likely the bank that you're gonna be connecting is gonna be a business checking account, unless you have additional saving account that you opened inside of your bank. Make sure you, you, pick, the, you pick the business. And this account is gonna be for your business and connected to your business account, not you personally. Yeah, before putting your bank account, I think the verification with the the ITN, the SSN is going to come right now. So once we opened our account, they put a limitation. So the additional information that they need. Okay, they want the identification numbers, uh, identification document. So here we're going to be picking the passport. Uh, we're non-resident. It's totally fine. So the best way to carry the document is just on your regular uh, desktop. You copy it. Uh, and then you paste it on your VPS. So it's just going to come there. Yeah, we can put our passport. On your passport, make sure all the four corners are visible. It's clear scan and everything is uh, readable with a high quality. All four corners, everything has to be uh, clear. After putting our foreign uh, passport, most likely they're going to be asking for, for us to like provide the SSN. Thing is like there and there we're going to be providing our ITIN. This is simple. Our account should be good to use right now, but in a few days, in one day, two days, like using it for some time after doing some transactions, they may ask for further verification about the ITIN, uh, SSN. And there we're going to be providing the ITIN as I was explaining and showing to you guys. Then uh, we will be good to go.